tell us about your film and the role you play in it. Yes, so it's a documentary short, um, and so my dad died pretty unexpectedly in 2017. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, uh, and he had a death wish to become a skeleton in the science lab of his high school, um, and we figured it out for him, and we, and the process took a number of years, and COVID put a wrench in everything, including already dead people, um, but his skeleton was completed um, two years ago now, um, and I always wanted to deliver him to his school in a way that honored him um, and honored myself in my grief. Uh, my mom unfortunately died unexpectedly also um, a year and a half after that, and um, so grief is something that I have with me forever, and I, I feel like we all lose people that we care about, like your dad. Um, and I wish I could spend more time with him. I wish I could have more adventures with him, but I can't. Um, and so I decided to buckle him in the back seat of my rental minivan. Um, and we took one last one last trip together. Um, so we made some stops in New York. He was a New York Times columnist for 25 years. Um, he was an architectural historian, so we wrote about old buildings. We made some stops there, stops in my old neighborhood. Um, we took him to Martha's Vineyard. He met my kids. Um, and my husband and my brother. Um, so it was really um, a wonderful way to round out that the journey, the journey of him becoming a skeleton. Um, and it was an exhilarating and moving experience that has completely transformed my life um, and truly made me understand my passion, which is. Um, I'm, I would love to make people feel more comfortable in their grief. Grief is very lonely and isolating thing. Yeah. Um, and so I hope that my story can em empower people to feel more comfortable in sharing sharing their trauma and their grief and their losses. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, yeah. Thank you so much.